Hey guys, just like to ask if you could like and subscribe and comment on the video with any thoughts you might have had because it goes a long way towards helping support my channel. Thank you. Hello and welcome back to Hooked on You. So last time we were, we basically got ourselves set up with Spirit, which is awesome. But um, we did um, end up uh, getting a uh, kind of interrogated by her ex, is apparently Trapper. I, I, I don't see how that works. And also her great 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 grandfather Oni. So we we passed those two trials. So and we've got the lighthouse all set up now. So let, let's see what happens. The moonlight sets a romantic mood as storm clouds roll in surround the black lighthouse. You know the sun might have set, but if we wait long enough, it will rise again. <gasps> Spirit removes her sheer robe, showing you her strappy black bikini. Her pale skin glows under the light of the moon. Again, I think I mentioned this already, but if this does turn out to be any sort of NSFW, I probably will have to cover it up, but uh, I don't think it is, just, just to be fair. But just, just be ready in case I do have to cover something up. <laughs> Maybe you could help me get a head start in applying tomorrow's sunscreen. Oh, of course, Spirit, Rin, anything for you. Again? I mean, yeah, of course. Last time was, well, I definitely felt more connected to you afterwards. <laughs> to be totally real with you, I just kind of asked you as a goof, but I really enjoyed it. I swear, though, if you tell anyone about this, I will not be labeled a foot freak. <laughs> not that there is anything wrong with feet, it's just that something about that kind of attention really gets people talking. <laughs> steady. Steady. Oh, wait. Yes! Oh, this, what is going on right now? Why did it have to be feet? <laughs> oh, it's just got like blood leaking out too. <laughs> Alright. That was pretty close. Almost. Oh, crap, I missed. Close. Almost. <laughs> I'm trying, Brynn, I'm trying. I'm just so taken aback by your beauty. Alright, gotta time it just right. Ah, crap. A little bit early. Can I fail this? <laughs> oh. I'm trying, I swear. I don't know why I keep messing this up so bad. Trying to find the rhythm here. Okay. Oh, pretty close. Ah, oh, crap, I missed. Why am I getting so close but not actually getting it? She must be so embarrassed by how I'm doing. Ah, oh, come on. There we go. <laughs> Crap. God, that's so goddamn hot. I love feeling your hands sliding up and down my feet and between my toes. My skin has never been more... more I'm not into feet stuff. Get up here right now. Before you can find a towel to wipe off your lotioned hand, Spirit grabs you and pulls you in close. Her lips lock onto yours. They're surprisingly soft and warm. Why is she crying? The sensation is incredible. Clouds cover the moon and you find yourself on the beach with Spirit in complete darkness. You can feel the narrow straps of her bathing suit come undone and come to life. Snaking through the air, wrapping around your body, lifting you up off your feet. Am I about to die? Come here, you. So this is what it feels like to fly. As spirit pulls you close, you feel bits of glass press into your fresh flesh. A painted pleasure mix and wash over you like the ocean. Salty air stinging your skin as you writhe against your undead lover. <laughs> the lighthouse howls. Oh my god, what is going on? Uh, 
in the darkness, you're pretty sure that the spirit lets the dragon inside of her take over. Oh no, God. Mommy. <laughs> if it kills you, you're sure it will all been worth it. The clouds part just you managed to pull yourself exhausted away from spirit. Oh boy, I get to keep a piece of glass. Sorry, I, I think it got stuck in me when we were when I was when you know I was having the best night of my life. Spirit drags her fingertip over the sharp end of the glass shard. Keep it. Consider it a memento. I've got plenty more where that came from. Uh, what the fuck just happened? Alright. <laughs> I feel like there's still a bit more of the game we wrap up plot stuff, but we we bag spirit. Hell yeah. <laughs> you arrive at the beach to find Claudette and Dwight waiting for you. Now's the time, Lane. To face your destiny. Actually, about that. Lane, can we talk privately? Maybe I'm not here. Maybe someplace else would be better for this talk. You know how I feel about schedules, Spirit. Very strongly. And you know how I feel about you telling me what to do. Don't do it. Like I said, I'd rather have this talk with Lane privately. It's not right to do it here in front of everyone. Am I about to be dumped? Oh, what the fuck are you doing here? You know, from my experience and for management at my father's mind, I learned that if you were going to fire someone, it's best to do it in public so they don't freak out. Wait, what? <laughs> Please, enough with this ire to fire talk. Wait, you think... No, she couldn't be. They seem so in love. Well, I mean, not really. Spirit is still spirit. But if I tried to imagine spirit in love, I suppose she hasn't attempted to murder Lane yet, so... Okay, fine. Your guess is as good as mine, really. That girl's very hard to read. A word of advice, though. If you're gonna end it, end it quickly. My experience, the more pathetic the creature, the more annoying the final howls are. I don't need any advice. Everyone out! Except for Lane. <laughs> Did someone say Final House? That's kind of my old jam. I could stay, right? Especially you! Out! Lame. Hello, my spirit, you feel something awful hanging in the air. More awful even than the lingering smell of that cleaver body spray. Ugh, that gag. I'm gagging. We're all gagging. For cleaver body spray. Sponsored. Spirit. Rin. I... I don't know what you're planning on saying, but before you say anything, just know that I really, really enjoyed my time with you. Getting to know you over the past few days helped me get to know myself. For that, I just want to say thank you. That's sweet. You're welcome. And you know what? It's kind of that thing that shows me you've got a good heart inside of you. Too too good for me to carve out and toss in the ocean. But also, too good for me to love. I need someone who shares my interest. Someone I can connect with. Someone jaded and dispassionate. Only driven forward by a desire for revenge. I need someone who isn't as so warm that I feel cold in comparison. I need someone who isn't you. Can we just be friends? I don't know if... Before you finish that, just know if we're not friends, we're, t we're probably become enemies, and I will destroy you. Friends it is! My heart is broken, guys. Why did it end like this? I'm glad to have you here for me when I need you, but also not too close to me when I don't. See, so yeah, I'll see you around. Spirit starts to leave. Wait, what? That's it? Th that's how it ends? You're just leaving me here? I'm not sure I'd use the word ends. For that matter, I wouldn't say that I'm leaving, but us? We're definitely through. The fact that you can't see that, it just proves that you were never really belonged together anyhow. Good night, Lane. What the hell? I just spent all this time on this island doing everything I can to get to know you, only to be told that I should just leave the chocolate factory through the side door? I don't know what that means. Anyway, I said good night, Lane. See you around. Jeez, I'm sorry. What a bummer. Now why don't you keep saying she'll see me around? Gosh, I have no idea. Friends forever. And so, my precious killers lived happily ever after, as they should, learning to love themselves first and foremost. I love the art style for this. <laughs> this looks really cute. Whilst trapped in a never-ending cycle of torture, of my design. Wait, did I just spoil my true identity? You made it this far, you should probably know that. Then you have to play again to find out more! Goodbye, Lane. See you again later. And again, and again, and again. FOREVER! The end. One down. I don't know if I want to get all of them, though. <laughs> That's a lot of reading I'd have to do. Man. 
that that hurt that 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 we didn't stay together. I thought things went really well. Why? Why? Did I mess something up? I need, I need to look up if I messed something up. Spirit. Hooked on you. Ending. Pick to kill Dwight to earn a hooked on you spirit romance true ending. Choosing despair will lead you to the bad ending. What? If you do not get the option to kill Dwight at all, then you're heading to for the spirit friend zone ending, which isn't her true ending at all. Shit. Where'd I mess up? Um. Oh, it's probably because I never... I, ne I didn't do everything towards her, you know? Like, I, I let Wraith tell a story, and I let Huntress tell a story, and I think we went to Trapper's uh, yacht, stuff like that. Apparently, we need to do everything towards Spirit to to even have to get it, you know? And then, apparently, I can pick to kill Dwight for some reason. But if I don't, then I get the bad ending. Huh. Well... Apparently, I have to, like, say everything right on, like, everything, though. <laughs> like, for example, um, I'd have to, like, pick flight as a superpower preference, history is best subject, cat is favorite animal, prefer not to work at all, pick the lounge, um, virgin kiri drink, and tell spirit that Dracula is my favorite. Yeah, and just a bunch of other stuff. That, like, I have to do everything right, I think, to, to get spirit. So... <laughs> Yeah, I probably won't. Yeah, I don't think I'll replay this. There's a bunch of other endings, and I'm sure you can find them all elsewhere on YouTube. I had fun playing this. I may look up what happens in, like, other endings. I'm really sad that I got the friend, I got friend zone, but it, I had a good night, and, and I got that bloody glass shard as a reminder of the good times I had. Well, let's hope the, the, the credits are just about over. I am kind of interested in, like, what's going on, like, meta-wise with the game. It seemed like they were hinting that there was, like, more going on than meets the eye. So I'm kind of curious about that, if there's, like, some, like, Undertale-esque thing going on. Like, it's not just a dating sim, but there's more, like, lore stuff kind of thing. That makes sense. But, yeah, I think I'm done here. I will see you all in another game. Bye. Thank you for watching. If you liked what you saw, please leave a like and comment and subscribe to the channel for more content. Thank you.